what's up gemini welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up come on in here hop on the couch kick your feet up relax and enjoy yourselves boo grab your weed your blank your cigarettes your drink your fruit your water hell i don't give a fuck just do you but allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me because you don't have two boos and you're doing for that it truly means the world to me thank you so much all right my lovely gems we're back with another love reading Getting some um, current love messages on what's currently going on in your love life. All right, so I already pulled the cards. So the, who is that? Who the hell is that? Tevin Campbell. I don't know the title of the song, because I don't like Tevin Campbell. Uh, wanna love, they want to love you forever more. That's, I do know that part of the song. Yeah, but I, I, I don't like Tevin Campbell. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't care. You know the title is that a fucking song is. But I do know they want they want to love you forever more. Okay, so um, you could have been married to this person. Okay, um, this person could want marriage and a family. Okay, feel very passionate about you, very serious. Okay, this person could cook for you, or you could cook for this person. This person feels very, um, very dependable. Okay, you can you could depend on this person no matter what. Okay, there's a lot of passion with this person. All right. Um, yeah, so he found out there was a beautiful monster. Oh, yeah, hold on. Mm hmm finest wine on the outside, okay? Everything that you imagine them to be, imagine them to be okay? Dream for them to be, but in the inside, it was a motherfucking monster, okay? Mm hmm So anyway, yeah, you found out there was a fuck boy. you know what I'm saying? Very ugly personality. They just became ugly to you, you know? Like I said, they was cute, but, you know, the more you do fucked up shit, the person becomes ugly, period. Ugly, ugly, all right? They became judgmental when they weren't judgmental in the beginning and shit. They're always judgmental about every goddamn thing, judging everything for no damn reason, okay? Just because they're unhappy with themselves and they petty ass life, okay? And you realize this motherfucker starts, you know, giving you breadcrumbs. You weren't used to that, okay? Like, what happened? Where, where do these breadcrumbs come from? You couldn't relate to that shit, okay? You couldn't relate to that at all. You just couldn't relate to this person at all. Right when you, especially when you found out this person was running around creeping, creeping on the down low, you know, having drunk sex, smashing any and everything with um, motherfuckers they met online that looked like donkey asses and shit. You know what I'm saying? It, but they didn't give a fuck about how they looked. They didn't care that they looked like donkeys and shit. They probably had donkey asses, and you probably got a donkey ass. But you know, they just wanted to play with their kitty. You know what I mean? You could have found some out on the full moon. You know, this person could be doing black magic. Okay, just trying to put a curse on you, you know what I'm saying? Because they want you to communicate with them. You could be dealing with an Aries, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer. Did I say Cancer? Uh -huh. Yeah, they feel like they just walked out right, right out, out of heaven. Feel like they just damn near threw their life away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what to do. To get back right with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This person still feels you their true love. You can feel this person is still your true love. Okay? Even though they left a bad taste in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You don't like the fucking taste they left in your mouth. It was an unrelatable taste. You can relate to that shit. Especially when they start dealing with people that look like Jeepers Creepers. Okay? Ugly motherfucker. You can't relate to that shit. You ain't ugly. What kind of shit is that? And ugly, I think, is even here. Yeah, ugly. Right here, right next to Jeeper Creepers. Ugly motherfuckers that look like Jeeper Creepers. Well, you can't relate to that. And that looks bad. Taste in your mouth. Like, what the fuck is this? People that look like donkeys and shit. Okay, they was just trying to smash, though. They just wanted to play with their kitty. Okay. This person wanna, is begging you. Okay, they're begging they on bending knee, you know, because for having a secret lever. They want to apologize for having a secret lever, for keeping secret levers away from you, okay, because they still feel a deep connection towards you, okay. They still feel a deep bind, a deep bond towards you. And they're trying to figure out how to get back right with you. Because they feel like they just walked out of heaven, mm -hmm.
Yeah, they could have been out there, you know, since they wanted to fuck anything. They was fucking things that smelled like garbage pail juice. They didn't give a fuck about the hygiene of motherfuckers. They was just nasty, okay? But they didn't give a fuck anyway because they was having drunk, a lot of drunk sex with people, okay? That's probably another reason why you couldn't relate to the motherfuckers. You know, your car was probably smelling like ass and shit. And, and Badusi, you know, all together and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or they just probably was smelling like that. You could be dealing with an artist. This person could be in the public eye. Could do do music. You know what I'm saying? They could be a ballerina. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They could be. They could be a dancer. Could be a producer. Yeah, this person want to come back and shower you with gifts. They know you like nice things. And, they, you know, they know when they come, they're going to come with something nice, okay? They're not going to come empty-handed because they know they fucked up. So they really going to come with a hell of a gift when they come. And, of course, they are artists. Well, of course, they're going to come with gifts. Yeah, this person likes to drink a lot of Hennessy, okay? This person drinks a lot. That's why they have a lot of drunk sex because they, they could be an alcoholic. Lauren Hills is Gemini. Yeah, you can relate to this motherfucker because this was community dick. And this community dick like community pussy and it's the other way around. Switch it if it's the other way around in your life. Okay, yeah, this person like drinking Remy. Like I said, this person could be an alcoholic. They just like drinking a lot of shit. Okay, and something ugh, made you throw up about them. Okay, because they just like community any fucking thing. You just couldn't relate to this shit no more. You couldn't relate to their ass no more. You didn't know who the fuck you married. Okay. You used to have a mutual attraction, but you didn't have a mutual attraction anymore. Bottom of the deck, we got STD, so maybe you could be ooh. Maybe you maybe an STD. All right, haters fell in my lap, so maybe you guys got some haters around you. My eye itch. Shit, hold on. Yeah, this person still sees happiness with you. Mm -hmm. Right as they fucked up, they still want to want their family and deal with you. Yeah, because they love you, baby. All right? Spirit saying is don't stress. If you're stressing about something, spirit saying don't stress. You, you got this, okay? It's all right. Don't overthink nothing. Don't stress nothing. It's cool. Stop stressing shit. That's not our pro that's not our job. Don't do that. I don't even get you an advice card. Yeah, this person just wants you to let them love them. Love you now. Trust me, and when I say it's okay, see, don't stress. And Lauren Hill's a, a Gemini. Coming from your own energy. All right, we got balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Pisces, but... Let me read it for you, and I'll leave it here. Have you been so head, so head in the clouds that you lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention to make a con concert concerted effort to move towards your goals the more practical steps you take the better it's time to find an inner balance between you your responsibilities and your dreams meditate on your question and the solutions to your issue may now come very clearly if you're not if you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr 
This card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. All right, additional meanings for this card. You're in a super romantic. You're in a super romantic but not super real, realistic state. Follow your intuition and won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream. This person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Avoid substance abuse. All right, me love. So if this resonated with you, girl, if this re if it resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, go ahead and give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message, all right? So thanks for watching. Until next time, same bad time, same bad channel. All right, deuces.